Ned Fulmer from the Try Guys has been out on social media for cheating on his wife. But then are we the ones putting celebrity couples on the pedestal? On this episode of IMO, we discuss if we have a part to play in destroying on-screen relationships. If you say like, I'm going to film my date, more often than not, you're filming more than you're actually dating. You always think you can do both at the same yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You probably can't. Like for example, Casey Neistat admitted it, like with his wife, whenever she asked him out to go somewhere like a date, he will always think what is good for the video and not what is good for the date. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of In My Opinion. My name is John. My name is Celeste. And yes, welcome back to another episode, another week. Another week. It's just the two of us this time. It's been a while. We haven't, I guess, we haven't done this. It feels weird. Mm. I feel like, I feel like I, I haven't got the groove of podcasting yet. Yeah, what but, are you? I don't know what's going on. But whether or not I got a groove, our social media still stays the same. It's still overthink SG everywhere. Still TikTok, Instagram, Telegram, uh, Twitch. YouTube. Only fans. YouTube? No, YouTube. Only fans, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but soon. But yeah, soon. Overthink SG, I don't know. Overthink SG everywhere. And let's mm. get into today's episode, John. Let's get into today's episode. But yeah, uh, today's episode is uh, spurred on by a current affair that has happened recently that's a little bit disappointing, but at the same time worth discussing. Yes. Yeah, for those of y'all that are uh, for the uninitiated, uh, the Try Oof. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, I, I, I know I we, think, are, we are I both think, trying to think of how to bridge this. I think this. once I say The Try Guys, I don't have to say more. There's not much more that I have to say, right? And we are, we are all trying, okay, there's no good way to broach this topic, so let's do it as crusty as possible, okay? Right. The, the Try, try guys, guys that Fumo cheated on his wife, all right? And then- Thank you for watching today. Sorry, sorry. And then like, like sh- you know, shit went down. And, the, and if you don't follow The Try Guys, the reason why shit went down even more is because Nat's whole- Character or his personality is predicated on being like the guy the with a wife, guy, the right? wife, the one that loves his wife, like, like, oh my god, the I love her so guy. much, the married guy, the, and then and then he got uh, basically outed for for cheating on on his wife, on his wife an, with with a staff member, with an, yeah, another colleague who is also engaged, but that's a whole other that's a whole other topic whole other that we'll not be talking about. But yeah. you know, we figured right as two unmarried individuals, yes. We shouldn't be talking about the sanctity of marriage or anything like that, right? You know, but you know what, yeah. what we can talk about? Okay. As two as clearly two celebrities on the internet. <laughs> we are the, <laughs> we are the authority no, no, on no, no, whether no. celebrityhood is a problem. Yeah, so basically <laughs> I don't agree, but you know what? I agree with the ending. <laughs> I don't agree how we got there, but I agree with the ending. All right. right. So <laughs> I I I and also because like uh, recently for some reason like Adam Levine the thing oh, yes, came yes, out yes. as well and he was cheating or, or like at least like hitting other girls and stuff like that. So like because of that, John and I were on a taxi today and we both thought like actually we should talk a bit about like celebrity couples. Mm. And the reason why we are qualified to do so is because we are in the media industry and therefore I think we have a a better understanding of what goes on behind the scenes. And like I said. Right. We are we not are we are so not famous. Sir, we are not famous. Like Adam Levine be like, oh my god, it's those two guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure. Okay, but anyway, let's get into it. Yeah, anyway, the reason why we're talking about this is because you know we feel that like there's something worth exploring over here. But before okay, so let's let's get the let's get the ball rolling. Yes. Okay. So first question I have for you, Alistair, Yes. Right, is like I it's the overarching question. Yes. Okay. Um do you think mm-hmm. right it is healthy? Yes. To have your relationship as your main branding. As your main branding or yeah. like or in public as a like that people know about it? Like main branding. Like you are known like as Net the person. Fumer, right? Like Net I'm Fumer. the wife guy, right? Hell nah. Why? I think it's a Explain. terrible Explain. idea. Why, why, why? <laughs> Wait, do you, am I the only one that thinks so? I feel weird yeah, now. There's two of us here. I just want to hear you say first so I can say my point later. <laughs> do you agree? Okay, wait, okay, okay. I, okay. I, I, I think it's a bad idea. Okay, okay, okay. I think... Partially because, first of all, uh, you don't know what's going to happen in a relationship. Right. Just right, right, like right. yesterday, Casey and I were talking about it because yeah, we were talking yeah. about Nefuma and the Adam Levine thing. Mm-hmm. And I said, they asked her, will you cheat on me? And she also asked me, will you what cheat on me? What kind of a person asked this? Okay, fine. You asked each other. And so then she said, yeah, she, she, we both like to ask each other weird questions. Okay. Then she said, uh, uh, probably not, but like, how am I going to say 100%? Because we don't know what you're going to do in the end, right? 
Right? You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know whether you will fuck up. You, you, yeah, you, correct. You always say you will fuck up. But you never until know. Until you fuck up. Yeah, no one thinks they're going to fuck up. Yeah. Right? No one goes into the fuck up thinking they're going to fuck up. Yeah, right? people be like, today's the day. <laughs> Today. I'm fucking <laughs> all up. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. No one goes into it. Like, no, I'm not sure Nat Fomer didn't go into cheating thinking yeah. he's going to cheat. So this. Right? He just cheated. And then right. shit happened, right? So like, I I think in that, in that vein, Having something predicated on a relationship that you mm-hmm. know might change any day, whether mm-hmm. or not it's cheating or not is one thing. But like sometimes maybe people just like fall out of love. Uh, sometimes yeah, 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 like yeah. they just didn't work out, right? You still break up. Having yeah, yeah. your your whole personality, not just online personality, but pers- like maybe in real life personality as well, yeah, 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 based yeah, yeah. around a relationship is a bad idea. And we all instinctively know that having your in real life personality based on our relationship is a bad idea. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you cannot be codependent. You cannot be, uh, you or rather like, you should try to have your own personality outside yeah, 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 the relationship. Yeah, for sure, set your for own sure. life outside the relationship. We all no, know okay, that but, but not everyone knows that. Okay, so I think okay, fine, we okay, to take okay. a step back. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Maybe, uh, okay, it is a uh, uh, common advice that, ah, yeah, yeah. it's okay. common advice that you should have your own personality and life outside yes. the relationship. Yes, 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 and yes. I think it carries the same to online relationships, uh, online personalities. Right. You should have your own online personality apart from your relationship. Ah. And I think it's the same, for me, it's the same logic. And I think there are other problems that comes with having your whole thing in, whole internet personality predicated around uh, being a couple. Uh-huh, but uh-huh. I'll let you go with your opinion <laughs> first because I think the second one is the it's the toughie. It's the crux. It's uh. the crux. And okay, I think okay. we are going to be on it for a while. For so me, why don't you go ahead For first? me, the first thing I have to say is I agree with you. Yes, yes, yes. So this this this, this uh, opinion of mine is going to be surprisingly short because a lot of the points I echo you. Yeah. Like, but like, you know, I feel that like making it your entire branding is dangerous for for a few reasons, a yeah. multitude of reasons. It's the fact that uh, it forces you to sort of like... Um, it sort of like dehumanizes your relationship. Mm-mm. It takes the the emotion out of the relationship. Yes, yes, yes. Because the emotion, the relationship becomes branding. Like, hundred percent. Like, like it beca- I feel that it is slightly less uh dangerous or tricky if your branding is that is that of parent and child. Why? Because you because you cannot yeah. own. You the cannot parent own your parent child. child. Yeah. <laughs> I, it might sour <laughs> the relationship, but it won't be not. But you can never ever be like, all right, fine, relinquish your DNA. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah it's correct, correct. You can sour, but it won't be dead. Yeah, it can get really shitty, and we've yeah. seen examples of that. 100%. But you cannot unparent. Yes. yes right? Even yes. if you kill, and if, touch wood, touch even wood. if it ends <laughs> up with a violent crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You're still your parent. You're still parent and child. Yeah. But relationship is different, you see? I agree, I agree. Even, the, even marriage. Yeah. Right? It's not permanent. It's not, yeah. And I that agree. impermanence has been further um, sort of like impressed upon us yeah. by the fact that there are so many policies legally put in place for people to terminate what used to have a certain level of finality and that's marriage. I agree. Okay, yeah. but I also do, uh, on that same vein, I think that another big problem with being your, like your online personality being predicated on a relationship is that I feel like most of on the same vein that I feel like most of the time it means that you don't have uh time to be in a relationship. Oh. It feels okay, it feels a bit counterintuitive. Okay. But uh, a lot of people uh, uh. a lot of people who aren't in like the media space often yeah, yeah, look yeah. at couples who 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 vlog and maybe they have their own couple they, they have their own partner as well. They go like maybe one day we should just vlog our date. Seems fun, right? And yeah and, and go on YouTube. Maybe we can become famous. Yeah, yeah. And most of the time like these are people who are not in the media industry and they don't quite know the inner workings of yeah, it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But coming from someone who is on the Indian industry, uh, doing that more of if you say like I'm gonna film my date more often than not, you're filming more than you're actually dating. Ooh, ooh, and, and that's the problem. You you always think you cannot like you can do both at the same yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You probably can't. Like you, it's a good chance that like for example, Casey Neistat admitted it like with his wife that like. Uh, his his wife came on the podcast before and said yeah. that like uh one of the big problems they had to solve at the start of their relationship, especially when Casey was doing daily vlogs, yeah, was yeah, that yeah, whenever yeah. she asked him out to go somewhere like a date, somewhere nice, he will always think what is good for the video, what is good for the vlog, and not what is good for the date. Because <laughs> sometimes it overlaps, but most of the time it doesn't. Right, and that's a little bit shitty. Exactly, and even if it does overlap, he's going into these dates thinking it has to be a video. 
Ah. Which, which makes your interactions and your choices during the date itself or the thing itself very, very difficult. Yeah. I think another big problem is that when you are doing that, you don't give yourself room to argue. You don't give yourself room to be human and a couple. That's true. Leh. And I think like that is the that is the, the key issue here about when you mix it, when you mix your your couple time into content time. Yeah, yeah. Because like when you create a piece of content using your couple dumb? Couple? Couple food? dumb. Couple don't sounds weird. Couplearian, um, we're gonna go with that. Couplearian okay. using your <laughs> couplearianism, yeah, right. Yeah, it almost feels like that you you are trying to fulfill an expectation that is not yours. Exactly. Yeah. 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 There right? you go. Yeah. It almost feels like people have this ideal image of what a couple looks like. We don't need to say this, but I think yeah. everyone has their own image. Yes. But there is some overlap enough that that we all instinctively can imagine a picture, <laughs> and if your date becomes content, you subconsciously create that image for your date, for yourselves. And also, yeah. Correct. Even though it might, if it might not be true, it might, you 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 may even neglect that it makes your own self comfortable, uncomfortable. Yeah, and you, because there's an expectation, mm. because at the end of the day, you're doing content, right? And I know a lot of people will be like, oh, nowadays maybe you can be more real or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can like share when you guys argue. But I'm going to be honest with you, you probably can't. But you also, okay, but I, 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 I agree that you can share when you argue, right? Yeah. But I, I realize the, the part where realness sort of realness sort of fails yes. is that you will never argue in Prop. the content. You will never, and not just that, even if you do argue, it will never be proper. Ah. You will never be. After that, you will take the. Correct. <laughs> it's like, can you, just imagine it. It just like gives us shivers because oh my God, it, it's doesn't, ridiculous. it doesn't make sense. And it's it's not to the fault of the creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just we are human and we have boundaries. And this is obviously crossing a boundary. Mm. And like that's why I, I feel like that's why like couples like boyfriend versus girlfriend failed. Because they were doing daily vlogs as a prank couple. I have no clue who they are. They, they were they were back in the day, like okay. quite OG YouTube. And they basically they were a couple and they mm. and they did like daily vlogs and they pranked each other quite often. And one of the when they broke up, one of the reasons they cited that they broke up was because like every day they had to they had to portray that they were this happy couple. And like I know a lot of people be like, but no one put that portrayal, no one put that expectation on them. But I think to a certain extent, even if no one outrightly say like that, oh yeah. my god, I expect you to be a perfect couple, just seeing the comments like, oh my god, you guys are so cute, yeah, makes yeah, you yeah. feel pressurized to portray that that certain image of you as a as a in a relationship. Yeah. And because of that, like you you don't you don't get to argue and if you, especially if you're doing a daily vlog, every day you're filming it. Every yeah. day you have to, even if you hate each other yeah. and you argue, just argue a lot, you first of all cannot think about the argument because you have to shoot and edit in the same yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. And second of all, you don't even have time to argue because yeah. you're filming all the time. Mm, so mm. because of that, you don't even have time to be a couple and I think that's the biggest issue that most like celebrity couples go through. Yeah, actually, you don't even need to think that far. It can be even very, it can be very simple where like, for example, if let's say we had an argument. Yeah. But it's like a podcast day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even we will have to put that disagreement on hold. But yeah, exactly. clearly there's a different dynamic here that will not run deep mm. into damaging the core of the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the but the romantic relationship of, of celebrity couples, right, is predicated on the fact that they are a romance. Exactly. And if they don't take time to nurture the romance they very quickly cannot hold on to both the celebrity or the couple part of their relationship. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the example that I gave boyfriend versus girlfriend was yeah, quite yeah. extreme, right? But even what you said, the example, uh, being a bit more realistic, let's say they, they, they have once a week, they stream once uh, a week, uh, or uh. They, they film once a week. If the argument happens during the stream or during the, the shoot, mm. like, you have to shelve it for at least a little while, right? Yeah, 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 and yeah, if, yeah. And if you don't get enough time in between filming times or streaming times, mm. then uh, it will just be an issue that is never addressed. Because you don't have enough downtime to be a couple. Right. And once you, it's only if you do, then you'll be able to, you know, resolve the arguments that you have doing, that, yeah. you, couldn't, that you couldn't address during the filming itself. Yeah, and, and this got me thinking because it makes me feel that like, you know, a lot of celebrity couples, it almost feels like the moment the news is, the, is broken, yeah. is the moment everything bad happens. Like broken about what? 
like the news is broken to the public that so and so maybe committed Cheating. adultery or whatever, right? Yeah. It almost feels like in the public's perception that that was the moment where everything happened at once when it's absolutely yeah. not true. It's hundred percent not true. It's probably right. like a lot of okay. Once again, we're not like uh like justifying that that I don't know if you on that former should. Or, or anyone, or like, any, or any, any human any being, any human being whatever, should the, cheat or whatever. Yeah. But if you think about it, like in terms of like the the pressures that they might be going through, the problems that might have been shoved around the yeah, rug. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think, especially for Ned, having the having the the the, the pressure to be that perfect couple, I think will eat him. Because I okay, honestly speaking, I don't think I felt it to that level. But mm. when I was in JC, I came in as one of the few couples that were they were together since secondary four. So I went to JC to get, uh, I was on Hua Chong and she was on Nanyang. Mm, mm. So we went to JC and everyone knew we were together. And we were one of the first few couples in Hua Chong because before that, no one knows each other. Celebrity. Wow. No, like, and people, and people were come, well, we like, uh, my classmates that I didn't know, oh the Nanyang God, girls. They were like taking pictures of him and shit. I, they were not. <laughs> they were just like, oh, we know you because we know you as as Erin's boyfriend. Mm. And like, that's, and I was Name like, dropping. oh. We love this. No, <laughs> I said her name before, right? Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, as, as her boyfriend. And I was like, oh shit. And even though none of them has ever said like, oh my God, we love you as a couple. Oh yeah. my God, you're a great couple or whatever. In my head, it's like, now the entire school knows that I have, a, like her, as, as, as she's my girlfriend. Yeah. I cannot fuck it up. Because if I fuck it up, then everyone's going to be like, oh my God, what happened to, to, to them? I thought, I thought yeah. they were together. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that pressure of to be, to be perfect. Mm-hmm. And to a certain extent, even like within like now with Kezia and TSL, right? Because a lot of people know that we are from more that's... name dropping. We love her. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows Kezia. <laughs> so Kezia and TSL, right? Like that's like uh not say that like ev- that everyone knows or anything, but like even the people who knows, there's like still a little bit of pressure of like like you know you have to be hopefully see this through and yeah, and not yeah. fuck it up. You know, even if break up, that's fine. But at least not fuck it up along the way, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's the pressure that I think I have learned to deal with a little bit better, but it's still there. It's still very much there. Mm-hmm. And which is why Kezia and I, unless you ask us, we won't voluntarily say, especially if you're from TSL that we're uh-huh. together. Then then in that case, what I would ask you, because you are put yeah. in a unique position, sir, do you think this pressure, yeah, yeah, right, which you have experienced before, actually is a force that tends to push your apart? I feel like it makes it such that maybe not push us apart, mm. but it makes it such that whenever we got problems, I feel worse. It makes every problem magnified. Because I feel like we shouldn't be having those problems. I don't let... Why? Because what? You got like a reputation to uphold or something like that? Or like, I feel like we sh- It's like, we shouldn't be having these problems as, as a couple in... There's a bit more in a... Not say public eye, but like uh-huh, a couple uh-huh. that's a bit more known. Damn. Like we should not have be having these problems. I'm no okay. I'm not. There will be some part of people like I have no idea who the fuck you were, and like I don't know who you are. So maybe all of these are in my head. It's probably yeah, yeah, yeah. it probably is all in my head. But that's the but point. It doesn't matter. That's the point, yeah, right? Yeah. It's probably all in Ned's fumo's head also. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's the point. But just having that that is enough to 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 make you go like oh shit like I shouldn't have be having these problems, and that's what makes having the problems feel worse. You don't let yourself like. As a couple, you know you get brought, you are you have like rocky times and mm, tough mm, times, mm. right? But every single time, uh, like a normal couple, let's say you go through a tough time, you just yeah, like yeah, oh, yeah. tough time, lor. And then like, and then you deal with it, you and deal okay, with it and move it. on, right? Yeah. yeah. But when you have this pressure, that tough time is like, fuck, we are screwed. You're gonna break up. The the school is gonna know. This is gonna know. Then they're gonna know they're not perfect. Then from that is like, oh my god. Then my what happened to my reputation? What happened to my to my brand as a as the as the wife guy? Ah. And then all these things like start to compound because there's there's more at stake than just your relationship. So you either break or you are forced to do underground things. To I guess maybe to preserve okay, your I don't. Sanity. I'm not gonna speak for him to say like where his head was at when he, he cheated, mm. but I don't think I I think that's plausible la. It makes sense, right? Right. Because uh, uh, this sounds like a lot of pressure. Yeah. And a lot of pressure that is shouldered by one individual. Yeah. So it, it, I'm not just say, I'm not I when I say one individual I don't mean like like on the cheater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that both of these couples suddenly shoulder invisible pressures that they cannot necessarily experience together. And it, yeah, and they cannot shoulder it together. Yeah, as, yeah, as a they couple. cannot, right? Yeah. And as a result, when, you're, when your load becomes insurmountable, you're either bad or you break. 
Exactly, exactly. Right? So you either like break up, go crazy, whatever, or you ban, which I think is the infidelity. Which because is- you find- Yeah. An outlet. Either that or you find a more fulfilling relationship elsewhere. Yeah, maybe. With less maybe. It just explodes in your face, law. Like it gets pent up to the point where it just explodes. La. Right, right. And I think maybe that's what happened. But then, right, I, I'm just going to try to play the devil's advocate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. So Ned is a good example, right? Yes. Because he, Ned Fumer was the, the guy with the wife in the Try Guys. Yeah. Known for that since he was at BuzzFeed. Since he was at BuzzFeed. Exactly. Right? Like it's been a while. It's been a long ass time. So, long ass time. So like, do you think, right, that uh, the entire reason he got himself into this problem Right. It's because there was an audience demand for a married role model. So you feel like it's because audience demanded it, that's why therefore he fit into that mode. Yeah, so like I I, I personally feel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh why I don't want to say that it's not Ned's fault. Yes, yes, yes. But he is the product of a larger societal problem. Yes. And that is uh the general public subconsciously uh looking for Wholesome married couples. Yes. I use wholesome married couples very loosely because it can mean anything. Like a like a romantic like a picture perfect romanticized yes. married couple. Yes, 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 yes. To have as their role model. Yes. Without even explicitly saying it. Do you think yeah. that is the reason uh a situation like Nets was born in the first place? I think he probably I don't, I, okay, I don't think he subcon. I don't think he consciously went like, oh, uh, this is yeah. what the internet needs, and therefore I'll be that person. Yeah. But maybe he was just, like, maybe he just mentioned his his wife once, or like he brought his wife on the show once mm-hmm. or something, mm-hmm. and then and then like, oh my god, you guys are so cute. I love that you guys are supporting each other. And then mm-hmm. he he just was positively reinforced with right. with these things. Like he he every time he did, it was people encouraged it and then because of that, like yeah. he just kept doing it and it because that's become his his branding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do agree that there is like uh I won't say fault, but like it some of it lies with, within the social aspe- social mm. and societal expectation of yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. uh they want out of a celebrity and a celebrity couple. Like like you, you look at like Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively, I think uh-huh, they also uh-huh. have that same the same level of like, oh my god, they're so cute, they're yeah, so perfect yeah. for each other. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. they but I don't know how they are handling it. Hopefully a lot better than that's handling it. I yeah, seems like it. Seems like yeah. hopefully uh, fingers crossed. Uh. But like, uh but yes, yeah, so I I do think that there's to a certain extent that mm, but mm. but I mean we had this conversation outside outside yeah, 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 yeah. off the cameras, but we said you asked me, do you think it's more of the audience fault or is it Nets more of Nets yeah. fault? And I say it's Nets fault because I think it First of all, he shouldn't cheat. Second of all, at any point of this where he was like, oh my God, I'm being positively reinforced. This feels great. I'm going to keep doing this and become my brand image. He could have stopped it. But like, you say you could, but if you're in that situation, sometimes you don't know that you're in that situation. Maybe that, that's true. That's, true. that's why I, I, for that's me, true, right, I am of the camp that it's the audience's fault. Like I think societal pressure is very difficult to, to There's overcome. There's this societal uh. pressure that a lot of the times if you confront people about it, they're also not willing to admit that they are they are sort of like, I don't want to use indoctrinated, but swayed by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they want to see this romanticized picture, perfect couple, make it to the end. Yes, Whatever yes, that end might be, right? Make yeah. it to the end. Yeah. And that's where it becomes problematic because in a very glorifying way, mm. you dehumanize them. Yes. Because like you make, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm going to be mean, real 100%, 100%. here. I'm going to be real here. Okay. Are there more people who cheat on their spouses with colleagues? Right? Yeah. Or are there more people who make it to the end? I'm willing to bet bottom dollar. You think it's more cheaper to cheat on their co- with their colleagues? Yes. What? Or rather, For okay, real? maybe maybe I maybe I put it wrongly. More than you expect. Okay? Or, or, or is the question, do you think more people don't make it to the end versus more people make it to the end? Okay, yeah, that's easier to understand. Easier to yes, I agree, more people don't I make it to the end. I think there are more people who don't make it to the end. Statistically speaking, just pure yeah. statistics. And yes. like, with this glorifying effect that they have on their internet or whatever, celebrities, right? They suddenly forget or rather the, the audience suddenly is made to forget and sometimes they even convince the celebrities themselves to forget that there are people too. And, and they also yeah. make mistakes. And their mess ups happen. And that they're allowed to make mistakes. And they're allowed to to feel shitty about a relationship. And they're allowed to to have bad days in a relationship. Yeah. 
It's, yeah, exactly. And I think it goes to the point about like- I don't want to say that, like, I, I, I don't want to take it so far as to say that they're allowed to cheat. No, but, uh, yeah, but if you really think about it, right, if you take a step back, there's no better word to describe it, but everyone's allowed to. Whether you should or not is a different thing. Technically, the technically net was allowed to cheat too. Uh, exactly, just, no, they, but, but like- but They like, faced a big consequence. Uh. Yeah, but like there, there becomes an issue, you see. Because he in, in in some role model way, he wasn't allowed to. He wasn't allowed to be uh, who he was. Albeit this who he was is it is someone it's, it's quite is, shitty. It's, 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 it's a, not great, you know, la, a, to be honest. A disloyal <laughs> son of a gun. But like <laughs> but like but like, but like you know the average person is allowed to without the scale of the of the consequence of the, yeah, of the aftermath. Sure, sure. I get what I mean. I get what I mean. So that's where it becomes problematic because it almost, in a very dehumanizing way, deters them from. So that's the positive side, right? It feels that like it deters them from uh, doing bad things. But this deterrence reaches further. It deters them from being real, from being who they are. And I always like to say this line there's no crazy, like we press crazy. And, and I think that's what probably happened. Yeah. He, he, I, I think to a certain extent he probably just felt like he couldn't get out of the relationship and maybe. whether it's like maybe at some point right he suddenly thought that maybe I should have just been like the father guy not the wife guy he, does know? he have a kid? yeah oh shit that's where it gets messy that's where oh, they got no. children oh no so he could have been the father guy you know oh no instead of the wife guy maybe that would have been more oh no so, so the, the trick is don't be the relationship guy be the parent guy <laughs> I okay I don't know man like I, I, I don't understand celebrities who are like super open about their relationship online like I just cannot get it like there are a lot of people who will like share their every detail like mm, they mm, mm. I have seen couples who to their credit like be so real on camera that they yeah. fight in front of camera and they'll just put it up and like I have no idea how they do it do you think that because I, I I was thinking about this just now also while we were discussing yeah do you think it's because they place very low importance to their celebrity status and the platform they are on Say like, for example, if you are on television, right? You can be on television, right? You're yeah. on a talk show and then you bring your partner and then you all argue or whatever and then someone storms off the stage. Yeah. Right? Like, you don't care that someone is watching it. You don't care about whether you reappear or whether this episode does well or whether this mm. entire television thing works out. Okay, maybe if you tell me that they don't, maybe because they don't care about the audience as much or they mm, don't care mm. about like the public eye as much, then yeah. sure, maybe, yeah, okay. Then Do you think that's the reason? Maybe. I think, more, okay, honestly speaking, I think maybe some of them, yes. Mm-mm. But I think a large majority of them is like, they just like, like, it's, they're, they're so in love that they're like blinded, blinded by the problems that it might come with. Mm. And they're just like, so like overcome with love, right? <laughs> that they're like, I have to share this oh with the God. world. Oh my It's you and me against I have the to whole sh- world. I have to share all of like you, the world. Oh my God. Because you are, because you are the most beautiful yeah. thing in my life. You are my, you are my, you, you, my are, girlfriend. you are the sun and the moon and all <laughs> the stars. <laughs> The sun and the moon and all the stars. I have, I have no can't, clue. Can't I'm be just... the sun and the moon. You know what? I'm nobody's poet. <laughs> okay, but that's the. I think that's more likely the the explanation for many people who end up like 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 that lah. Mm. And and like it's a thing that like I had to think about with like Kezia, right? Yeah. That even after we got together, yeah, we, we didn't like say we were to. I didn't say I was together with her mm-hmm. for like. Oh wow. Yeah. Like on stream, like even John, like you didn't like we didn't we weren't open about it and you 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 just treated as if I was like single-ish. I just didn't bring anything up. You just yeah, exactly. You didn't you didn't bring up, oh my god, you are your girlfriend or whatever. Like it's something that like we had I okay, maybe you didn't think about it, but like I had to think about it a little bit because uh-huh. I was like, I want when I introduce when I do introduce Casey. I, especially to stream, uh-huh. which is even worse because stream people create parasocial relationships. Uh-huh. Especially when it comes to that, like, it ha- to me, it has to be like solid. Mm-hmm. Like, I know, like, not, not saying I know it's going to work, but like, at least the initial kinks of like a new relationship is worked out. Yeah. So, 
Interesting that you brought up parasocial relationship because that's where I want to play the devil's advocate again. Yeah, let's go. Do you think that people are stuck in this, like celebrity couples that that center their entire brand or personality around this, right? Yeah. Do you think they're stuck at stuck in that, right, once again, because of parasocial relationship? Yes. Where the audience, right, thinks that like, oh my God, I feel like I know partner A, I know partner B, right? Yes. And they are made for each other. That's and, what it is. And, and as a result, right, they put un um invisible pressure on these people and that's why right interestingly enough right you see a lot of celebrity couples don't make it yeah i because okay. people will be like partner hey, is meant for partner me is their one true pairing or something okay shit. but i, <laughs> I have a otp in them yeah wrong. okay but i do think that a lot of celebrity couples don't don't past because most of the time they're just too busy la. oh and like it's their own shit right yeah but okay but i okay i do I 100% believe that parasocial relationship is a very, very big factor. Uh-huh. And uh, if you are in stream, you will know that I really hate the whole parasocial relationship thing. And I constantly remind chat about it that don't go into parasocial relationships. In fact, we did a whole ass episode about it. Yeah. Go and watch it with Lee, this episode with Leah. So th- I do agree. And I think it's worse when it's on stream. Mm-hmm. When you, like for example, I bring Casey on stream and she gets to interact with chat and she gets to talk and it's almost like you're talking to a friend on video chat, right? And then they think they know her, they think they know me and they see us interact on camera and they think that that's how we interact on a day-to-day basis. And they think that's how we interact all the time. Even like for example, TSL on YouTube, like mm-hmm. sometimes they're like, mm-hmm. oh my God, Alastair and Casey are so cute. Not saying they're not cute, lah. we are, but, but like Alastair and Casey are so cute, right? <laughs> That's the case, so cute. And oh my god, they are like the perfect couple. How you know, yeah? <laughs> Who say one? Who say one? <laughs> how you know you gonna watch a 10 minute video <laughs> and say we are the perfect couple? How you know? Like, how would you know? Like, mm-hmm. realistically, realistic, how would you know that? Mm-hmm. Like, you won't know mm-hmm. that one. Like, you never see us, even hell, even John who sees us work <laughs> together two times a week because Kaysia uh, come to the office two times mm-hmm. a week. You also don't know what the, the problems that you go through That's in the relationship. But. So what makes really much true. less you guys that watch me on like online for like 10 minutes? Like mm. it doesn't, but the things that like media makes you feel like you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that's the another big problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you, don't you, okay, do you personally have any parental relationship any couple? Like you I, feel like, oh my God, if they, if they break up, I'm going to question a lot of things that I know about love in my life. You know, I'm a very heartless, apathetic. Oh, oh. whoa! Apple Watch tried to cut Apple in, but anyway, as I was saying, I'm a very heartless, apathetic person. You do be a little bit heartless. Um, <laughs> I am empathetic, yeah. but towards people's pairings, I am. I couldn't care less. Fair enough, but okay. Do you feel the same? Okay, uh-huh. do you feel the same pressure as me, or like the same like in? Do you have the same uh sentiments as me with regards to like people who say like, oh my god, you guys are a great couple. Do you feel pressure when you see that or what do you feel when you see that? I think it's funny comments. Okay. But do you think much about it? No, I don't actually. So you just like, like you don't, it doesn't affect I'm, how I'm you- I'm glad that I have a, a thick enough rotterproof layer that it just kind of rolls off me. Whether good or bad, right? Whether good or bad. I'm, I I feel that like this, I, I, I okay. Personally, I think it, it was- uh, not an instinctive behavior, but a learned behavior. Mm. For me, I am always not afraid to admit mm. that a relationship can fail. Yes. I don't go into any relationship expecting it to fail, of course. Of right? course. And you want but, it to not fail, hopefully. Yeah, but I always am willing to admit. You have to be like, realistic. Who's to say that next week we are still, to, that next week we are still together? You yeah, know? Realistically, and yeah. And if we cannot even have that that sentiment to agree or over that sentence yeah. without feeling emotional about it. Yeah. That's where the understanding is not complete. Yeah, I agree. And if that you're able to, to have that kind of sentiment mm-hmm. without hurting the feelings immediately per se. Not, because, you know, it, it almost sounds like you don't want the person. But that's oh, not okay, true. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 but, yeah. But that's not true. But can we break up next week? Absolutely, what? Mm. Right, anything can happen. And yeah, I mean, literally anything literally can happen. Any, a lot. Right? You are trying not to make it get yeah, to that point, right? But realistically, it can happen, lah. Exactly. So, as a result of that, right, it forces you back into cold reality. Mm. And when you're back into back in cold reality, for most of the time, if you're anchored and not so, don't you want? In the yeah. Clouds, you're not so affected by people's impression of a parallel social relationship. You take mm-hmm. the sweet parts, people say you're cute, fine, I'll take it, right? Yeah. Thank you for 
for validating the good bits of our relationship. Mm. But do I need to live up to that validation as if it's an expectation? Mm. For me, easy no. Mm, mm, easy mm, mm, no mm, mm, I th- and I think that's the issue here because mm. people feel like the validation almost becomes an expectation yes oh my god that's, that's a good right? way to put it yeah, so yeah, the, yeah. Pa- the parasocial relationship in a very parasitic sense yes feeds off the relationship but but wears it out eh? yes 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 because I, I agree. they see the peak of the relationship right but they never see the valleys the va- yeah 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. and they always want to see peak mode yeah, but nobody operates at peak, 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 peak the 100%, mode. Yeah. yeah, ain't no way. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I, I, was, I I'll say that I've gotten better at the, like, ignoring, not saying ignoring, but like, taking all the comments at face value and not letting it get to me as expectations. Yeah, yeah. But I still, but I, I mean, going back to, like, for example, if you are a young couple in, I like, see. social media, right. or let's say if you are a net who, like, maybe before BuzzFeed, he wasn't, he wasn't wary of it. Mm. Like the only reason why we know about this and like know about all these dangers and stuff like that because for a good like one or two years of our careers yeah. in media, we weren't in front of camera. And right. we got to see all these talents for like a better fuck up in front of us. Mm-hmm. And then when we ended up becoming in front of camera, like for example for me, I only started becoming in front of camera like two years into my like uh-huh. into my media career. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. When, it, when I eventually got to that point, I was able to handle it a lot better because I know the common pitfalls. Yeah. And I know that, okay, here's how, uh, like, possible... And, and it's also a matter of perspective. Exactly. Also. Yeah, exactly. Right. I think one of the things that uh, that helped me understand this a lot better was yeah. was being, like what you mentioned, right? Seeing all these things go to shit and then critically thinking about it, about why. Yeah. It yeah. made me realize, like, for example, one of the things that we were discussing some time back was whether to have my girlfriend... Brianna on as a host for a particular segment with her friend, which yeah. would have been an easy yes if you don't think, right? Because yes. her friend is the co-host. If anything, I why said not okay. get her? Did I say okay? I, I said okay, right? You did. I okayed it. You did. And I said no. You vetoed it. Right? It was the I, first, it was the I few times that you vetoed no, it. Yeah. Right? And I said like, no, absolutely not. Why? Purely because uh, I had the foresight to consider that mm. what will happen to the whole show if we break up. Yeah. Will this tear our channel asunder? Yeah. High chance, yes. Why? Because suddenly there's an expectation. It's like, oh my God, it's almost like a boyfriend-girlfriend channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah What's yeah. a boyfriend-girlfriend channel if the if boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend girlfriend are no longer boyfriend-girlfriend? <laughs> exactly. See, therein lies the problem, you see. And, and the fact that life. this sentence is, what's the boyfriend-girlfriend ch- channel if the boyfriend and girlfriend are no longer boyfriend-girlfriend? It's not something that the content creators did. Hmm. Is the expectation the audience put upon that channel. Like, i give you an example. Mm. One of my favorite YouTube channels is Girlfriend Reviews. Yes, yes, yes. I've sent you videos before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a game channel. They review yeah. games, right? But they the review girlfriend games, reviews yeah. it. Yeah, 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 And it almost feels like they are the perfect couple, right? Everyone wants, oh my God, my girlfriend plays games mm. and that kind of thing. But, and, and like, they people keep asking, when is it going to be wife reviews, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course, you want the best for, of course. for the people you like. Yes. And personally, I, will I say that I'm, I, I'm not excited when they, when, when they address questions like, when is it going to be wife reviews, right? Yeah. I am excited, right? Because I like what they do and of I like course. their energy. But am I going to be so immersed that I can convince myself that like, you know what, what if one day this channel sh- shuts down because they're no longer together? No, I'm not, gonna, I'm not that idealistic. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the key, that's key here. Mm. You see, if we force our content creators unwittingly into a mode, you, you you don't mean this, but I think people, the audience in general does not mean this, but of it course happens not. anyway. Yes, 100%. Right? You force them to have a difficult life. You know? Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's like a perfect, uh, perfect and a parallel to draw, but Logic once rapped and said, uh, you wonder why- Logic so many, is who? As a rapper. Right. He said, you know what you wonder why so many rappers be overdosing at a crib because people will just won't em- just won't let them live. And I think that's kind of I would say it's the extreme. Of course they're not overdosing and they're not mm-hmm. like committing suicide or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like it's almost to a level where like if you think that's that the extra pressure relationship adds a lot of extra pressure because that they feel like they cannot like live their life and fuck up and like yeah. be, be human. And I think the breaking point, right, is when the parasocial relationship overshadows the interpersonal relationship. Yes. Right? Yeah. Because suddenly you have this image to maintain but then 
you run out of resources to maintain your real romance. Mm. Oh, this is tough, man. Okay, wait, one more question for you yeah, yeah, yeah. before we end it. Uh, you are known in the creative team, right, for having uh three different girlfriends ah. appear on YouTube videos yes. on TSL. Yes, that so, is yeah. not a, that is not a joke. That is a fact. An actual, you actually, <laughs> if you go and don't in go my and look, long I, esteemed career, TSL in, career yeah. in TSL, you have appeared in front of camera and said, this is my girlfriend three times. Three times and they are three different they're people. They're three different people. Yes. Not the actual thing. It's, that it's, just, it's just that you as broke life up. goes on, relationships go on too. Yes. So have and, you, and I'm currently in relationship three. Yes, you are right. Okay. Have you ever felt like, maybe I should not have this on camera? Right. <laughs> or like, uh, you are wary that like, oh, what if we break up? I have thought the former, but not the latter. Okay. So okay. In, in, in what I mean by that is that I've definitely thought about the former, about whether it's best to bring the relationship uh, into the... Com- the, the, the light of the company but most of the time whenever these pieces of content are out I will ask my partner whether they're comfortable to come on and then if they're coming on right uh, I take it as a collective decision that things are okay because mm. I ask for their consent they're down to create content and as a result we're both consenting adults I do not need to babysit their their mindset yeah, or whether they are impacted by this I'm not I, I'm not a mind reader Right? And, and you're not and I personally am not a, yeah. I do not have a problem with it you're not that caregiver like, yeah, you know, I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not so yeah you know yeah, I'm not yeah, your yeah, parent yeah. you're not a guardian I'm not you your know? manager yeah, right? yeah, yeah. in fact if, it, if anything you're the ones coming on because of me right okay but <laughs> but sure. that, the next the next portion of it is you mentioned about whether I think about oh what if I break up yeah in the sense of like will the audience blame me or will I be negatively impacted because yes, I think yes, these yes, are the yes, thoughts yes. that people think about when they have this kind of pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, for one, am not afraid of that mm. because I think in a very, I want to say serendipitous but also lucky kind of way, what uh, the content that we produce has been very real and upfront to, so much so that I was able to confess my deepest uh, understandings of this relationship that we set the basis that if things don't work out, we will break up. So, as a result of that, I think I do not experience that social media pressure hmm. if I do end the relationship. And also because you don't portray, you don't from the get go portray yourself as the perfect couple. And or yes, like, and like correct that you are the couple. The couple trope is not my branding. Yes, 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 hundred percent. I can. I am now instead in a very roundabout way forming a more healthy relationship and parasocial relationship by having yeah. my 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 branding be the real not afraid to break up. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe we cracked it boys. Maybe we cracked it, right? Just you need admit to, that like, hey guys, I'm an individual, I am yeah. fucked up, but you guys like me, so here's what's up. Yeah, and yeah. like, if we do break up, you guys still got me. Sure, you know, something sure, like that, sure. right? Yeah, and yeah, as a yeah. result, that is, that I feel is like a very, very good summary of me around my relationship thing. So that in a sense, right, I do incorporate my relationship into my work, mm. but or, or, or my appearances in front of camera so that yeah. I do incorporate my relationship to try to, you know, help my audience understand who I am. Mm. But my audience will still be able to understand who I am without my relationship. I get what I mean, yeah. And I think that's what has been in a very pure luck way the way to go the about way it. I formed my identity yeah yeah I think it's tough and I think a lot of people maybe they, you might be sitting there and going like wow god so complicated man you need to think so much man that's, that's how invisible all, it is it, yes it is we are overthink SG so ah, if, you, right, right. If, if you if you think you're not going to overthink this uh, you're in the wrong place I got a little bit aggressive with that but yes you got okay. very, yeah <laughs> fuck you, you <laughs> <laughs> no, like, okay. no but I'm pretty sure okay because this is what we want to encourage people to do feel yeah. free to disagree with us feel free to discuss in the comments below but we want you to critically think about it about whether you as an audience member has had a part to play in a parallel social relationship that puts invisible pressures that may crack relationships between your favorite mm. celebrities. I'm still of the approach or the opinion that it a lot of the agency lies within the couple or the celebrity themselves. Mm, mm. But uh, I do agree that the <gasps> audience have a big part to play and uh, and not insignificant amount of yeah. And uh, like I think the part main play. part that they play that the audience plays yeah. is the fact that this idealized, romanticized couple image that they have. In fact, these days, is this it has evolved. It doesn't even have to be your typical straight married couple anymore. 
Yeah. Right? It's about a good vibe. Yes. It's about a, a partner that seems to have great chemistry. Yes. Regardless of sexuality and gender. Yeah. And as a result, right, that has become a profitable branding. And what is uh what 100%. is profit on media besides attention? So if you if you as an audience subconsciously crave this kind of content, this romanticized view. I don't think life. they quite understand how much they crave it. Because a lot yeah. of people are like, like, oh, just relationship. What's up? Dude, why By do you the think way, uh, Love Island or like singles in photo? Exactly. I don't think people quite understand. Like I just did, like, for example, IMO, right? Anytime there's a current project for IMO, do you know what I do? I pitch a love episode. Do you know why? Because it does always does well. It has never a single time, We're right? Meta. That a love <laughs> episode that didn't do well, eh? You know why? Because everyone's a hoe for love, right? Everyone's everyone a hoe lo- for everyone love. Everyone loves love. Everyone loves love and there's nothing wrong with that. That is great. Keep loving love. But that also comes with its problems. But you got to drop. Okay, I, I feel you can keep loving love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? But I think what humans need to do is to drop the idea or drop the idea they have about love. Yes, the idea. You know, like, it's, this is going to be tough to understand but let me just say it one more time. You can love love but drop the idea of what love is like. Yeah, and like, stay off Tumblr. Yeah, Tum- I think Tumblr is this Tumblr year, I think not- this time, maybe Pinterest. Mm, pin- oh, pin- oh, yeah. Stay off Pinterest. You can Pinterest search for 3D prints. How about but, not, but not like love quotes. I feel like that, mm-hmm. will, that will not be good. And I think that's the that's the issue. Right? That's the, I think, yeah, I think we ended off in a good place. We did lah, we did lah. We're not saying that infidelity <laughs> is, a, is a good thing. And we're not trying it's to not- say that Netflix, uh, you know, is not a bad person. He says, no, he's not excused or anything. Yeah. Yeah, but what we're trying to say here is that maybe there is a bigger, there are bigger forces at play here. And I think for all it's worth, we should try to still take care of all of our yeah. celebrities that we like because they are people too. And sometimes having them fuck up is the is the sobering splash of water that we need to remind ourselves that they are still people too. And as a result, they deserve our care and concern besides our admiration, especially after they stop being who we are used to them being. That's wow. a very long ass sentence. But it's coherent <laughs> and it makes sense. And yeah. I I will say that like to the people who are maybe influencers or micro-influencers or whatever who wants to have an influence in the space who are couples. Yeah. I will say like, uh, think about it very carefully. I'm not saying it's, you, are, you are writing yourself a death sentence because you're not. Because there are plenty of celebrity couples that have made it out. Yeah. And there are plenty of celebrity couples who I'm sure have healthy relationships. Yeah. But uh, there are a lot of there are a lot of but their existence is a threat to yours. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's not. <a> lot. <laughs> it's is that there are a lot of pitfalls that come with the territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even like for example, the first time TSL asked Kaze and I whether we wanted to be in a video together, we had we sat down and talked about it. Like, do we want to be in That's the cool. public eye? Do we want to to sh- very cool. show our relationship like? out in open and like yeah. have that expectation on us or or like if next we even say like next time we got home yeah that's very cool and that's like that we asked each other that and when we were both okay it's like oh we break up I think it's fine and uh like I think it's not uh, we have, we kind of know what you're getting ourselves into then we went into yeah. it because to us it's not it wasn't like a small thing to just yeah. come on camera and show off that we are in yeah, a relationship yeah. so yeah I would say think about it a bit more it's not. It's not like you are. You know, once again, you're not doomed. You're not. Yeah. You're not doomed to fail or whatever. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're not. No one is ever doomed to fail. But yeah. you just. It's just an extra hurdle you need to go through, la. And mm. uh, you will not be doing yourself a favor by going to this hurdle uh, blind. Yeah, and I think it's a mark of maturity yeah. when you are in a committed relationship with someone, mm. and you all are able to identify the right parts that you don't swallow. You lose swag. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and, and it this took happens us, to be one of those parts, right? Mm, it took us, took me and Kezia quite a long time before we got on camera together. But when we did, then we we're like, oh, we actually quite enjoy this. Uh, we quite like it, and uh, we didn't care too much about the comments, and we just like moved on with our lives. And that's why you have two celebrities sitting in front of you today. And with that, the two celebrities are going to say thank you. See you guys. Stay, stay safe. Don't get COVID. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye.